Hi devs, in this video I will show you how you can quickly install and configure Cypress in a standalone Angular project to run your first and end test and try how Cypress works. First of all, let's create an Angular project with a standalone flag. Let's wait a few seconds to install all the dependencies. Go to the project folder and open it in your favorite editor. Next, install Cypress with npm install, and since we'll need to frequently start the Cypress UI, we create a convenient command in package.json called e2e, a short alias for end-to-end, -end, that allows us to quickly run the npx Cypress open command. Now we can run the command from the terminal, and after a few seconds, you will see that the Cypress interface will start, allowing us to choose between end-to-end -end testing, which allows us to test parts of the application, or component testing, which is very useful for testing individual components in an isolated environment, similar to what you usually do when you write unit tests. In this video, we choose end-to-end -end testing, and we can see that Cypress indicates that some files will be copied in our project. We confirm by clicking the continue button, and then we can choose the browser in which to run the tests, or Electron, to run tests directly within the Cypress interface. Since this is a new project, Cypress asks if you want to add some sample tests, which are very useful for getting inspiration and understanding how Cypress works, or we can just create a new empty test. We choose scaffolding example to run a sample test and verify if Cypress works correctly. As you can see, it notifies us that a series of files will be copied in our project. Click OK and now we will find all the examples in the project we have created inside the Cypress folder. In fact, we find here two folders which contain various examples, and these are the same example we saw in the Cypress interface too. Let's try running the todo.cy.ts example, and we see that we receive an error. This error is because Cypress supports JavaScript by default, but not TypeScript. So let's open the Cypress documentation in the TypeScript section, and we see that it's necessary to create a tsconfig.json file in the root of the Cypress folder with a proposed configuration. Then return to the project, create the tsconfig.json file in the Cypress folder, and we copy the configuration provided by the documentation. Now we open the terminal again, we close the current process with Ctrl C and uh, we restart it with npm run end to end. The UI opens and uh, we choose end to end again. We run the to do test and you will see that Cypress UI run the to do examples and now we are ready to write our first test. Let's start the Angular application with npm start and we see the preview on localhost. Our next goal is to write an end to end test to verify that this page contains some information. First, we start Cypress with npm Cypress open, and we see there are still the previously default tests. Let's delete all of them and create a file to contain our first test. We use the describe function to group several tests, and right after, we write what is called a test case using the it statement, briefly describing the test's goal, which is simply to test if the page is open. In this code block, we can write assertions, which represents the actual test. And with end-to-end -end tests, we usually verify the current behaviors of a specific page or some parts of the application. In this case, we are just checking that the localhost page is open. Anyway, usually assertions start with the expect statement, but in Cypress, most statements allow us to create implicit assertions. In other words, if the statement doesn't generate errors, the test passes successfully. Return to the Cypress UI, select my first test that contained the test we have just wrote, and as you can see, the Angular welcome page is open. In the next test, we want to verify that the word welcome is visible on the page. If it's not, we receive an error. We write another test case, open the localhost page, and verify that the word welcome is present by using the contains Cypress command. Return to the Cypress UI and you will see that this test passes successfully, indicated by the green icon next to the title, and we can also see all the instructions we wrote, visit and contains. In Cypress you can also click all this statement, go back to the previous one or go ahead to the next by using something similar to the time travel debugging. You can also click this instruction and open Chrome Dev Tools to debug what's happening behind the scenes, what you are selecting and so on. It's very useful to debug your test, but we will talk about it in another video. 
Now, imagine making a change to the application and accidentally removing the word welcome, replacing it with Fabio. Return to Cypress, restart the test, and you will see that we have an error now. The word welcome was not found. At this point, we can choose to fix the problem or modify the test. But before doing this, I want to add another improvement. Since each test opens the same web page, we can make sure that this statement is executed before each test by adding it into the before each function. This operation makes the first test useless because if the page were not available, the before each would already fail. So we remove it and we fix the previous failed test by inserting the word Fabio, given that we believe that this code modification is correct and that the test should not fail and we insert a second one to verify that the word resources is also there. Now we can back to the Cypress UI and everything work as expected. And that's all for this video. As always, I invite you to subscribe my channel if you like my content, write a comment below this video, or you can also follow me on LinkedIn or visit my website fabiobiondi.dev if you want to learn more about the front-end world. See ya in the next video.